Hello everyone. In this video I will discuss one of the films called Higher Power and never forget that I always pray for you and your family to be happy and healthy always. The film opens with an interview with a physicist actor named Michael Swafford who claims that a star in the Milky Way galaxy has just exploded in a supernova, releasing two powerful gamma ray bursts, one of which is heading straight towards Earth. As a result, humanity is currently preparing for the apocalypse caused by the gamma ray burst. Meanwhile, a professor is conducting research on an experiment to transform ordinary humans into superhumans. The professor receives an encrypted message from a mysterious man who openly supports his experiment because they both believe that what they are about to do could potentially save the Earth from the threat of apocalypse. Since the experiment requires a subject, the professor begins his search by analyzing DNA until he finds a highly suitable candidate named Joseph Stedman. Joseph himself is a former alcoholic who currently works as a security guard at a company called Red Lock. He is also undergoing psychiatric treatment due to depression and a tendency towards suicide since the death of his wife. His family problems worsened when his daughter Zoe accused Joseph of being responsible for her mother's death. As a result, Zoe decides to cut ties with her father and chooses to live with her boyfriend, who happens to be the astrophysicist Michael Swafford. In addition, Joseph has a second daughter named Rhea, who has become a drug addict since her mother's death. Her efforts to break free from addiction are constantly hindered as Rhea is exploited by a pimp named Nico. The professor and his team are currently monitoring all the movements of Joseph and his two children. One day, after successfully overcoming his alcohol addiction and depression, Joseph revisits an old video recording that shows his family living together in harmony. This instantly motivates Joseph to reach out to Zoe in an attempt to repair their long-broken relationship by giving her a gift. Unfortunately, Despite Joseph explaining that he has been sober for a year, Zoe still dislikes her father's presence and tries to ignore him. Michael, who is involved in the conversation, unintentionally provokes Joseph, whose emotions are still unstable, and Joseph attempts to harm him. This ultimately deepens Zoe's hatred towards Joseph. That night, Joseph tries to contact Rhea to mend their relationship, but Rhea doesn't answer his calls. Disappointed with the situation, Joseph starts drinking alcohol again and recalls the last moments with his wife. During that time, Joseph had promised to try to keep their family together, but now he feels like he has failed to do so. Meanwhile, a mysterious man appears from the back seat of Joseph's car, attempting to make Joseph less resistant and then takes him to the professor. A special chip is implanted into Joseph's eye, allowing the professor who introduces himself as the controller to communicate with Joseph and send him files and videos. Upon waking up in a certain location, the professor commands Joseph to retrieve a prepared pistol and shoot the woman in front of him. Initially, Joseph refuses this command, but when the professor threatens to kill both of Joseph's children, Joseph has no choice but to comply. However, it is later revealed that the pistol is unloaded and the woman in front of him turns out to be one of the professor's own subordinates. Next, Joseph is ordered to infiltrate Charles's house, who is the boss at Red Lock, the company where Joseph previously worked as a security guard. There, the professor instructs Joseph to force Charles to open a laptop inside a safe and place his finger on the fingerprint scanner. This reveals that Joseph's DNA is indeed a perfect match for the subject needed by the professor for his experiment. Just as Joseph is transferring the data, Charles seizes the opportunity to strike Joseph with a flower vase and takes his weapon. Intent on retaliating, Charles forces Joseph to reveal his identity as a security guard at Red Lock. This surprises Charles, but upon seeing the ocular implant in Joseph's right eye, Charles quickly deduces the mastermind behind all of this. In fact, the professor used to work at Red Lock, but Charles had to fire him because the professor's program was deemed too dangerous. Before Joseph can be killed, Charles is shot by a drone sent by the professor. Afterward, Joseph is instructed to cut off Charles' thumb and take it to the Red Lock headquarters. There, Joseph is ordered to wear a mask, as a drone will release poisonous gas meant to kill all Red Lock employees. The professor reveals that the lives of these employees mean nothing compared to the greater goal of saving the world from the apocalypse. 
The professor also places a similar gas near Zoe's bed and threatens to kill her if Joseph doesn't reach the main facility within four minutes. In a hurry, Joseph heads there and uses Charles's thumb to open a door, leading him to a sizable generator. The professor once again threatens to kill Zoe if Joseph doesn't enter the generator immediately. As soon as Joseph is inside, the generator suddenly activates, emitting a blinding light that alters Joseph's DNA sequence before the generator explodes. The professor is seen celebrating happily reveling in the success of the event while reporting to the mysterious man that his experiment was a success. The explosion at the Red Lock facility is soon broadcasted on television, instantly devastating Zoe who believes her father perished in the incident. In reality, Joseph himself is still alive, mysteriously awakening in his house with his entire body covered in aluminum foil. Not only that, Joseph realizes that he now possesses a power that is triggered when he is angry. Though Joseph is confused about what has happened to his body, he has no choice but to continue following the professor's orders. The professor now instructs him to go to a specific location within 15 minutes. Filled with anger, Joseph unleashes his power, causing a nearby motorcycle to ignite spontaneously. The professor commands Joseph to use the motorcycle to go to a brothel where he encounters Nico, a pimp who keeps Rhea addicted to drugs. However, upon arrival, Nico resists and manages to overpower and restrain Joseph to interrogate him. After discovering that Joseph is Rhea's father, Nico intentionally shows a video of how he mistreats Rhea as a slave. This infuriates Joseph, and suddenly he emits an incredibly bright light, taking on the form of a giant figure that destroys the location. Despite this, Nico survives the incident and attempts to stab Joseph, but the attack has no effect and Joseph doesn't flinch even when several bullets are fired at him. Next, Nico tries to ram Joseph with a car, but the professor does something that causes Joseph to release an electromagnetic beam, instantly killing Nico and partially destroying the urban building. Afterwards, the professor orders Joseph to surrender to the incoming police, as he is not satisfied with what Joseph has accomplished. At the police station, Joseph is immediately interrogated as a terrorist responsible for the destruction in two different locations. However, at the same time, the professor instructs Joseph to tell the detectives that he has planted a bomb at a shipyard. This instantly causes panic among the detectives and police, who rush to the shipyard as quickly as possible. But the professor gives Joseph a difficult task to reach the shipyard before the police arrive. If Joseph fails, the police and 20,000 other people will become victims of the bomb explosion. This leaves Joseph with no choice but to escape using a stolen police car. However, his efforts are hindered by other police officers who try to apprehend him. Unexpectedly, this causes Joseph to unintentionally transform into an explosion capable of moving at the speed of light. Meanwhile, news of the pursuit is broadcasted on television, leading Zoe to finally realize that her father is alive. Unfortunately, shortly after, several men break into the house and kidnap Zoe and Michael. On the other side, the police finally arrive at the shipyard to search for the bomb. Fortunately, Joseph also arrives just in time to try to send the container containing the bomb flying into the sky before it explodes. However, tragically, debris from the explosion accidentally hits a passing airplane, causing it to lose control. Realizing this, Joseph immediately uses his power to try to save the airplane just before it crashes into the ground. Afterwards, Joseph goes to Zoe's house, only to discover that she has been kidnapped by the professor. Filled with anger, Joseph touches a laptop, instantly gaining knowledge of the professor's location. He goes there and uses an electromagnetic wave shield to protect Zoe and Michael from the professor's henchman's gunfire. Aware that her father is still alive, 
Zoe apologizes to Joseph for what she has done. Unexpectedly, it is revealed that the mysterious man who has been assisting the professor's experiments is Michael Swafford. Realizing that the gamma ray explosion that will cause the apocalypse is approaching Earth, Michael grabs a pistol and shoots Zoe in front of her father. Not satisfied with what has happened, the professor worsens the situation by ordering his men to kill Rhea and broadcast the murder live in front of Joseph. Witnessing the death of his two daughters, Joseph reaches the peak of his anger and begins emitting a powerful light that spreads across the entire Earth. The light even reaches outer space and creates an electromagnetic barrier that completely envelops and protects the planet. Through you I've created a god! Professor, trapped within the light, utters his final words, revealing that he has succeeded in creating his own god. Incensed by these words, Joseph instantly kills the Professor. However, the plan devised by Michael and the Professor to save the Earth ultimately succeeds, as Joseph, with his newfound abilities, is able to absorb all the gamma rays from the previously threatening supernova explosion, averting the apocalypse. In the end, Joseph fulfills his promise to his wife by using his powers to bring their two daughters back to life. In the final scene, Zoe and Rhea meet again on a beach, and it appears that Joseph has completely transformed into a new form of godlike existence created by mankind. And that's it for the story series of this film. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to support this channel by subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next video. Goodbye.